This is Cabs with Yikes Reviews. Um, February is almost over. I wanted to discuss discuss <clears throat> one of my favorite movies with one of my favorite black actors, um, Denzel Washington. Um, I've probably said this before with many actors, but Denzel is able to act not only supremely well, but in his mannerisms and his facial expressions he can literally literally make you cry with just a single tear i believe he's already proved this in glory um and in other films that he's been in he's just um a fantastic actor um mentor um someone that other black people and other people of color can look up to as far as, as far as a positive role model um <clears throat> In this series of good old favorite scenes in media, I want to discuss uh, Denzel's walk, in particular in Devil in the Blue Dress. It's one of the last scenes in the film, um, and it encapsulates everything that Denzel is, confident, um, assured, in command. Um, you lock eyes on him and you feel confident, you feel prideful. Um, and that's how the movie ends. Um, it, just to give you, give you kind of like context of devil in the blue dress. I'm not going to really discuss the entire movie. because just paint a broad strokes. Um, devil in the blue dress is a story about, uh, a man who is down on his luck. He just came back from a war. Um, he owns his own house. So he's one of few, if the few only black own homeowners um, that owns his own home, um, a sense of pride, but unfortunately he lost his job and he needs to pay for his mortgage. He needs to pay for food. You know, um, if you ever been laid off, if you own something or lease something and you've been laid off, you can relate, but he needs work. So, um, he's looking through the one at papers, um, at a local bar and the bartender who he knows as a, quote unquote friend uh hooks him up with a shady character um more like a, a gangster but Denzel's character doesn't really know that yet he just knows that the guy's looking for someone to look into a missing persons um Denzel needs some details from that and the guy is very hesitant to give him those details long story short Denzel uncovers a case of um child sa um with a local politician he covers a woman who's been on the run um who's shacked up or linked to a particular politician but the woman back in the day i forgot to mention this is the 1940s um the woman she's of mixed race um and she's passing as white and the family of the politician does not want her anywhere near the politician who's who's running for office in in la and unfortunately uh violence and intrigue and suspense and betrayal ensue um denzel comes out on top of course um but not with out paying a couple of a price a paying a price um a couple of people that he knows as friends they they die um and um Don Cheadle's also in this movie. He he gives a perform a terrific performance. Uh, it, I think it's one of his best. <laughs> um, but um, what I want to really want to talk about is Denzel's walk. Now, as a guy, um, and I guess as anyone, some people say that you know you can tell a lot by how someone walks, how someone dresses, how someone talks, how someone presents themselves. And in every single movie Denzel's been in, including Training Day, Equalizer, um, he's someone who's not only like eloquent how he speaks, but he's very commanding in his presence, you know. Um, and in Devil in the Blue Dress, um, he's really like in shape. Um, this is back in the day. Um, but in early in the film, you can see that the circumstance that he had, you know, he, he kind of, I wouldn't say meek, but it, it took a toll on him. It took a toll on his confidence. It took a toll on him, you know, moving in the world. Um, he was 
I'm, I'm desperate. I need the money, but I'm also want to find out more about the case. So despite him being in such a low state, you see over the course of the film from him being in a low, very low, not depressed, but I'm in a very anxious, I'm scrambling to get what I need. Um, you see him rise to the occasion each and every time. You see cops just bullying him, you know, harassing him. You see the man that hired him harassing him, literally breaking into his home, eating food out of his refrigerator, telling him to go get liquor from his cabinet, like just pointing a gun in his face in his own home. Like you, you see a lot of things that are very disheartening and Denzel's taking it in stride. He's taking it on the chin. He's, he's standing up despite all else, despite people just playing around with him. Um, he's able to uncover the truth. He's able to find out what's actually going on um, in this case. And lo and behold, he turns out he's a hell of a terrific PI. Um, and over the course of towards the tail end, you see Denzel kind of settling in on his own um, and becoming the man that, you know, everyone in the world knows that he is, but you see him in the story become, you know, fully realized. And you see him as he's walking on the street. Um, there's a, lo there's a local, I, I guess he's like a crazy guy. He likes to, it's in the, it's in the film. He likes to chop down trees. Um, he likes to go into people's backyards and chop down trees and people in the neighborhood just try to force him, please do not chop down our trees. We need these trees. We plant these trees. I don't know why you're chopping down these trees, but I don't know what's going on with that person's backstory, but it, it's hilarious. And it's almost sad because it seems like he's in this like loop, but Denzel's like trying his best. He doesn't hit him. He throws rocks at him and stuff like that. But um, towards the end of the movie, he, the guy is once again, chopping down somebody's tree and he hauls off and starts running off from over to him and try to, to stop him from chop down someone else's tree again. And I'll try to show a little bit of the scene. I hope it doesn't get taken down or copyrighted, but um, um, you see kind of what I'm talking about. You see that when Denzel walks, he's walking like up to very tall shoulders back. He has that like gait, like he's gliding across the street. Um, it's very positive. It, it instills pride. You automatically just lock into how he's conducting himself and it's it's almost like a full circle in the story how he went from low to to mid to high um and then back again to who he is truly um you know a black man um a proud man someone who's willing to stand up to injustice someone who's willing to help anyone in need even if they're in the neighborhood getting their trees chopped down or they are you know women trying to find love in all the wrong places he's he's there um and I'll, I'll just show this scene real, real quick and um i'll give a little bit of my thoughts and then i'll close out um but yeah here we go all you got is your friend hey 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 what are you doing you better get out my y'all you get all that hey on. get on away from that you know that fool knocked down two of my tree get on away from that you better get away I thought about what Odell had said about friends, and it made sense to me. Odell goes to church every Sunday, so he would know. Later on, he challenged me to a game of dominoes. Now, what'd he go and do that for? We got to talking about Texas, and fooled around, and drunk almost a quart of whiskey. And I forgot all about Daphne Monet, Dewitt Albright, Carter, and them. And I sat with my friend on my porch at my house. And we laughed a long time.
yeah so as you can see um yeah this was like denzel one of denzel's peak performances um i really like it i always come back and watch this movie but um i love the equalizer um but i always come back to devil in the blue dress i like the music in it i, I like how denzel's acting in it i like don Cheadle, his character in it mouse um but in this scene um it just encapsulates everything that denzel is um and, and and the walk is important you know a lot of times you know you're going through things and you got your head down and you're, you're in a rush but he's he's not in a rush he's he's in his neighborhood he's in his element he's calm he's not rushing to go anywhere it, it's just like he's like i said he's just gliding across the street um it's one of the coolest things i've seen um there was a interview i think a few years back where he talked about how he quote unquote borrowed <laughs> this walk from a person that he knew um at a local ymca i hope i'm getting it right but <clears throat> this walk was inspired by someone else that he knew when he was younger and he's kind of he's modified he made it his own but that's kind of the thing um i i i admire denzel i admire his career i admire where he's where he's come from and this movie devil in the Blue Dress. And the, and the classic Denzel walk. You can see it in many other films. You can see it in Training Day. Uh, you can see it in, um, like I said, Equalizer. You can see it in Man on Fire. Um, I can go on and on. Um, uh, Crimson Tide. I, I can go on, but I'm not going to. But like I said, um, his walk is, is literally iconic. Um, you've seen people try to replicate it. Um, but you, no one can replicate Denzel's walk. So in honor of Black History Month, and uh, to add on to the series, I want to put one of my favorite scenes uh, Denzel's walk and devil in the blue dress um if you like this video feel free sh feel free to like and share uh subscribe leave a comment like I said I always appreciate it um thank you guys for looking at my last view my last uh, video um I had no idea it's one of my best videos that I've done thus far like I, most of not none of, none of my videos crossed over like 30 views but this is damn near over 90 90 views so thank you so much it's really given me the courage to continue doing this um and like i said i'll, I'll do better i'll try to do a better better job but I, I thank you all um and again um i'll continue on this series i'll show more scenes to come and, and more content so like i said thank you all for your support um and have a good day Cabbage out.